My name is Carmelita Pittman, and I am the co-founder of this project with Senior Senator Pasquale Betio, who is the co-founder of Artery USA with Deborah Gilman, who is also an artist. They are both artists. We are all artists. And I'm sitting with our next artist, who is going to do the next section of the mural, and his name is Emmy Lou, and he's, he's, he's doing the only thing he can do right now, and that is basically to nod because we're all covered with masks because of the pandemic caused by the COVID virus. So this is going to be a very interesting interview with all of us in masks. And the mask that I happen to be wearing, by the way, was given to me by Sir Lady Java, who happens to also be a resident at this location. And uh, we have a wonderful group here. Uh, we're like family. I happen to be sitting next to one of our residents, Tony. Okay. He calls himself Narvel. Tony Narvel. Tony Narvel. Yes, and he is also, I mean, uh, when I think about the residents here, they're all gifted in many ways. He's a very talented singer. And you write songs too, don't you? Yes, I do. Perform. Right. He performs, and he's uh, with uh, Dr. Reverend Michael Bethwis' uh, group uh, of many. He's been with them for many years. Who is the spiritual advisor to Oprah Winfrey? And I'm just saying all that as a preface to let you know that this is a very special spiritual man, a very talented man, and uh, he's part of our 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 residential family here on the hill because we happen to be located on a hill and we have roses in the front of the garden because at one time my mother was a resident here and I have kept everything up in her memory as well as my organization the Rose Breast Cancer Society which is a living memorial for her Juanita Zara Espinosa Udin is her name and she went on uh, to glory, November 16th, 1997, to live in a better world. And um, I want to just explain something about Emmy Lou, uh, because he is an international artist. We are very privy to have him join the project. Some of his clients have included Denzel Washington, uh, Phil Collin, Jamie Foxx, Elton John, the Royal Art Collection, he is part of the Royal Art Collection, uh, the, the, for the President of the Southern California Motion Picture Council, Lord Ma Randall Malone, uh, who's, who's pictured here with one of our legendary actresses, Margaret O'Brien. She has four stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and I'm privileged to say that I'm part of that group I performed for them many years, and I had an event there for the Rose Breast Cancer Society, and, and Lord Randall was the angel of the year that year. But this one in particular was in the Valley, and Emmy Lou brought his artwork there and exhibited it along with many wonderful artists. And uh, we had the wellness portion there. We had Dr. Sherilyn Lee there. 
Uh, we had many prominent people. Our, our One of our honorary board members, Congresswoman uh, Diane E. Watson, uh, she's now uh, retired, but still very active, <laughs> and she's still part of our group. And he also has Magic Johnson, uh, Barry Gordy, Carl Gordy, and she's become a very good friend of mine lately. We've been hanging out. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's just wonderful here who he's got. He's got Layla Ali, Serena Williams, Wesley Snipes. Uh, he's got um, Taki Mori, the famous Japanese movie maker. Frida Payne. And by the way, Frida Payne is going to be a guest on my radio show next Monday. Frida Payne was one of the, of the biggest stars with her big hit, uh, Band of Gold. Uh, Sue Wong, oh my God, you got Sue Wong. She is amazing. She is ab she's absolutely amazing. Sue Wong, I admire her so much because she, she brought herself up. When she arrived in America, she was living in a little apartment with her mom. She said it was rat infested. And now she's living in a mansion and she's got a huge estate in Malibu. She's got a huge estate in Hawaii. And she makes uh, these amazing fashions and has these remarkable productions with these tall, beautiful ladies. They look like gazelles <laughs> that have just arrived on the scene with these tall headpieces. And that kind of reminds you of Zigfield, the Zigfield Follies with those huge headdresses, or Las Vegas, you know. And uh, she does all this. I had the, pr the privilege of performing in her living room, of uh, singing uh, for, for a royal family uh, that, that was uh, visiting at the time. I sang for his birthday in her home. And at that time, she had a long list that she explained to us of who had stayed there before, including Jimi Hendrix and... I think, if I'm not mistaken, Elizabeth Taylor used to live there, and on and on and on. So, and, then, and I haven't even gotten through all of your list, Emmy Lou. Gee whiz. Um, let's see who else is here. You've got um, the Diversity Awards in Beverly Hills, where they made a presentation to you. Patty LaBelle, I love Patty LaBelle. You know, Patty LaBelle was a client of the Phoenix Rising Antiques and Arts when my mom was, was still with me, and she came into our little shop. And she loved our alligator bags. And she wound up coming back. And her, between her and her staff, they cleaned us out. They bought up all of our alligator bags. Mm -hmm. That he's also had other clients, such as Ed Holland. And um, I'm looking at these photographs here, and I'm seeing more familiar faces. But the list goes on and on and on. Emily, you have done so much. You've had so many very famous people who have your artwork in their homes and i also want to mention not only does he do portraits and by the way you you, you took away one of my clients i gotta i gotta tell this when bonnie hilton sweeney was the west coast representative to the late godfather of soul james brown she said that she was going to have me do his portrait and I actually spoke with him. He says, I want you to put in the Apollo Theater. Make sure you put in the Apollo Theater. You didn't know it, but that was supposed to be my client. The portrait job was supposed to be mine. <laughs> See, I do portraits, too. So you wound up with, that, with James Brown as your client. But, but, but that's okay, I forgive you. He, he didn't know anything about it. <laughs> Emmy Lou and I, we've been together for many years because Emmy Lou also has designed the pre Grammy Gala souvenir book. And, I, and uh, I might as well mention, you know, the reason why I mentioned Vonnie Hilton Sweeney is because she was like a sister to me. We became very close friends, and uh, many people sometimes they would get us mixed up. She was an amazing lady in the industry. She was an entertainment mogul, and she put on these huge events, and I'm going to have Emmy Lou talk about that a little bit. 
huge black tie events. And then I, I also chaired one 1998 at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. We had at least a thousand guests. It was a black and white uh, uh, a gala, uh, the late Godfather Soul, he performed. We had Tina Marie, she performed, and many, many others. Yours truly, I performed. And I had my artwork on display there in the lobby. Uh, so, you know, we, we've, we've had a lot. Emmy Lou, I think you were part of that too, uh, 1998. We also have him to thank for having the event at the Otani Hotel downtown 2004, the pre-Grammy uh, Music Industry Gala, because you saved the day. You really, really did. I mean, Bonnie was going nuts because at the last minute, the location we were supposed to have was canceled, and she had already sent out all the invitations and everything. We had great guests lined up. Uh, uh, lined up. We had performers such as Charlie Wilson from the the Gap Band and so forth. And I performed on that one too, with Amelie uh, Mbaye from uh, Africa, from Senegal. She was my my partner on the project. And and uh, Joe Jackson had his new act. I can't think of the name of him now, but uh, new new act he was trying to promote. So we were all together there on the same stage, and Emmy Lou was a part of that. You did the the uh, cover, you did the cover as well, right? Yes, yes, we did the cover, mm -hmm. and uh, I had uh, I was approached by Vonnie Swinnerton. What happens that uh, the money she always raised to finance these projects? had been mismanaged. So when they changed the venue, she didn't have money to to pull all this together. So I approached, I'm a member of the new Otani Hotel in Japan. So I called them as a member and begged them to last minute give us a slot within two days. And it almost failed, but they said, we'll do it for you. And uh, we were able to stage it. And uh, I was happy to be proud of that. And uh, I would like to let uh, the audience know that I have a gallery in Beverly Hills which I've run for almost 15 years. And I was always honored to have Camelita come and uh, do some, uh, uh, we did some one fundraiser, a celebration of our past uh, moments with the Vonnie Swinney Hilton parties. And you did it three times, I guess. And we did a book signing for Sherilyn, Sherilyn Lee there. And uh, I'm always honored to support Camelita. She has always supported me. And I recall, if you remember, there was another event that collapsed on us in 1996. I was very new to Vonnie Sweeney Hilton. And this lady, uh, she's, she's actually, I don't know how to describe Camelita. She used our own finances to actually uh, support that event. It was a major celebrity event at uh, the Roosevelt Hotel. And everybody backed out. Camelita went to her bank. And I put out lots of money. I can't mention the amount, but it was a lot of money she sacrificed to invest in this project. That's the moment James Brown performed as a matter of fact. And he might have performed some other times. So we are honored to have this lady with good intentions. She's a teacher herself for years. And she, she has hosted so many events uh, pertinent to uh, the breast cancer as part of her projects twice. We did show she has already mentioned that. And uh, everybody who knows this lady, she also has a radio program now. We should be able to acknowledge her and commend highly for our efforts that are being rendered to support the community. Even this project we are involved in, it's not that we're going to make sizable uh, comp comp compensatory amounts, but Camelita is always being there in the community to support vulnerable and honorable causes. So I'm indebted to be part of this project. And we just had Catherine Ariane as our lead artist. And we produced a video on her and her art. <coughs> and we just finally, finally completed the video. And we're looking forward to having a screening, a formal screening and reception uh, of this project. She's done two sections already on the mural. And uh, now we're going to look where you're going to place yours. And Antoni Narvel has referred us to AJ, who is also a wonderful artist. He has already uh, submitted his sketch.
And I want to thank you, Emmy Lou, for your very, very vital information to the public. It's very important that we become aware of what we can do to prevent ourselves from falling victim to this deadly disease. And of course, one of the other enemies of humanity is cancer. And that is the reason why I formed the Rose Breast Cancer Society, which is educational in nature. Our mission is education for the prevention and intervention of breast cancer. And of course, there are many, many different kinds of cancers, but they're all related to the same source of how they began. And one of the most important things that we can do to arm ourselves against this is to boost our immune system. And I like his style because it's, it's going to fit right in with the style that I've been looking for as the art director. I'm looking for curvilinear lines, looking for hard edges, and basically uh, design elements that, you know, makes it look more like a jigsaw puzzle than, you know, something that we're normally used to uh, with three dimensions. This is going to be basically two-dimensional, flat. So that, you know, one reason why I want to keep it uh, simple and flat is because, you know, we happen to be in a, in a neighborhood that as beautiful as it is, there are some elements, you know, every now and then that want to redecorate your art. But fortunately, they have respected our mural. They really have. Thank God. For 2015, the graffiti artists have worked around us and not on it. You know what I mean? So I think they like it, too. They do. They love, the, the, the neighborhood loves this project. The little children have come out when Pasquale has been out there and, and Pasqualeizing the art with his jewels and, you know, adding things to the, the artwork. He had a little uh, group out there of children who were, who were standing around watching him. They were fascinated. And then there was another time when Catherine was painting on the mural because this is on the back of the Longwood Retirement Home all of the residents of the Longwood Retirement Home came outside. There was a whole group of them, and they were photographing her with their cameras and videotaping her, and they brought her food, and they brought her beverages. They, they just were so excited about this. And now with you, Emmy Lou, oh, my God. What's going to happen next when you, when you get through? It's going to be amazing because you are going to do the gardens that are going to look like paradise. And Pasquale suggested that. He said to me, he says, you know, there's a perfect space right near where the, the medic people bring in the patients. They enter the two doors there. There's a whole section that would be perfect for that. And then they would be rolling them through the gardens of paradise, you know. <laughs> so I can't wait to see what that's going to come out like. This is so wonderful to have. Do you know what I believe God sent you? Because the way I, the way I operate, I, I operate through the higher power. People ask me sometimes, how are you able to do all these things? I don't do anything. The Lord just sends them to me. I mean, out of the blue, I haven't talked to him in, a little, in I don't know how long. I got a phone call from him. Just out of the blue. He calls me up. And it turns out that he's also a former student as a doctor of the very prestigious uh, University of Oxford, England. And he's been telling me all kinds of wonderful things that I should do to fight this COVID uh, virus. Yes, briefly, I was honored to be at Oxford University for only two, two and a half years. And uh, because I was normally an artist since I was uh, a young kid, I thought the medical uh, profession is going to take me too long. I think some of the information that has been given to the public is very good. Please take caution, protect your body and your family. Thank you very much. 
Emilu, I want to show you one of the first sections of the mural that was done by Catherine Ariane, our lead artist. And uh, we're just going to look at this as we walk over to the space that I want you to see. This is it right here. Beautiful. Very beautiful. It's very simple. I elaborate and it captures nature. Birds, butterflies. It's well rendered. Okay. And the edge of that building to right here where this fence is. Okay, and uh, Laurie is going to paint the bars again. The windows like she painted like she painted over here. She's gonna paint those bars to match those. And your section will be from here to there. And, and we need, and I'm gonna have to have you shoot with it looks like now, and then afterwards when he's finished. Yes, that sounds good. Production here of uh, another segment to the Gardens of Life mural, and we're here to cheer everybody up. We're here to cheer up yeah. the neighborhood. Yeah. Well, I want to thank the Longwood Manor Hospital for giving us the opportunity to have this Gardens of Life mural for the Mid City neighborhood. And Karen, uh, you are the director. And Leonella, I would say you're the co-director because she she handles so much for the, for the hospital here, and I um, I'm so happy that you're meeting Emmy Lou. Emmy Lou uh, is a internationally recognized artist, and he has his own art gallery in Beverly Hills. So we're very privileged to have him take the time out from his busy schedule. He was able to put together this beautiful mural in record time. And now he has to run off to Las Vegas for two other major projects, two other major art projects. Uh, Karen, can you give us your take of uh, what you think about his mural? I love the mural. Our residents love it. It's beautiful. It represents peace and tranquility in these times of the pandemic. And I know our residents and staff will love it. It's just a gorgeous, beautiful painting. And we're so grateful. Thank you so much. It really adds thank life you. to our residents. Thank resident. you for the appreciation. Thank you so much. And thank you, Carmelita, for putting this together. 
Emmy Lou, we Louie, want to thank you for coming out to our neighborhood because I did grow up here in Mid City and this is a beautiful piece of art. Thank you so much, especially in this pandemic going on and this whole riots that we have. This is a beautiful piece of art that you can see and it just brightens your, your face with a beautiful smile. Thank you, Emmy Lou. And I just want to say Namaste, which means the God in me salutes the God in you. May this project bring us all together and heal the community and spread the love and peace throughout the world. Por favor, ayúdeme. Oye, 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 oye. Escúcheme. Yeah.